what is up guys, Mr. Martin here, and today is the start of my new series, Dino Hybrids. It's where I get two dinosaurs from the comment section, or anyone I just threw up, and um, I basically mix the two together, and I show you a video. So today is a mix between the Eriator and Spinosaurus, called Spinoator. Now... I didn't, I wasn't able to fit the whole thing on the page. I was originally going to start here with the head, but then I started here, so really I couldn't fit the whole body on the page. And I'm not continuing it at all. So, it's 80 feet long. And this is a normal human compared to the Spinoator. This was, yet, let alone, a semi-aquatic creature and my bad art. Uh, but I did draw some others that I will show y'all. So, as you can see, he has the head crest of a Eriator, the actual crest of a Spinosaurus, mouth of a Spin- he has more Spinosaur traits, like Spinosaurus traits, that's an Eriator trait, I think. He has some Eriator traits and some Spinosaurus traits, these hands are a mix between it. Sail of a Spino and Eriator, because the sail extends a little bit longer. And then the feet, which I drew in the dark. Uh, yeah. Let alone this dinosaur was semi-aquatic. So, yeah. Oh. Wait. Let me get rid of that line so it doesn't confuse you. It's 40 feet tall at the uh, head height. But at sail height, it's 48 feet tall. Yeah, it's a pretty tall dino. Uh, 80 feet long, mixing the 30... I think it was the 50-foot Spinosaurus and the about 30 to 20-foot Eriator. I came up with the height, I mean the length and all that. And yeah, so about it for the Spinoator. Um, yeah, I actually like how it drew the mouth and did really good on it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, next one's coming out real soon. And yeah, I have a whole notebook. And after I do all those, tell me in the comments what you want. Bye.